This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams marked the end of the first quarter for 2022. And boy, oh boy, what a quarter it was. In fact, it was the worst quarter for stocks and bonds in two years. The financial markets dealt with a host of headwinds featuring Russia's invasion of Ukraine, accelerating inflation, the start of another hiking cycle from the Federal Reserve, as well as talk of recession with the inversion of the yield curve in the Treasury market. The Dow finished down the quarter close to 5%. The S&P also almost down 5%. And intermediate term bonds, both taxable and tax-free, had one of their worst quarters ever, down close to 5% across the board. The majority of global financial assets were down for the quarter, but there were some bright spots. Value stocks continued to outperform relative to growth and actually finished positive for the quarter, even after paying their first quarterly dividend check. Commodities continued to surge up 25% year to date, led by oil up a whopping 38%, while energy pipeline MLPs finished the quarter up over 20% and are still yielding close to 5% with their dividend. The bad news, inflation is high and probably heading higher as the global economy continues to reopen and recover from the pandemic. The good news, there's a lot of positive developments going on that don't seem to make any of the media headlines. Weekly jobless claims set the lowest level since 1969, while the labor force participation rate is actually rising. The economy created 431,000 new jobs in February, and the unemployment rate fell to 3.6% from 3.8%. So as the labor market tightens, consumer spending will remain robust. U.S. households have accumulated $2 trillion of excess savings, with the majority of Americans who are surveyed are now ready to return to their normal routine or will do so in the next several months. So as we start the second quarter, hopefully the volatility of the first quarter will subside. The concerns of the first quarter could persist, but remember, they are concerns. They're not certainties. How long the Russian invasion will last is not predictable. How high inflation will go is unknowable. However, inflation isn't inherently bearish for the financial markets. Continued economic growth should help the markets weather this ongoing inflation storm. Markets are always climbing the proverbial wall of worry. No matter how high, no matter how formidable the wall, the market has always managed to rise and overcome what at the time seems like insurmountable problems. With this in mind, remember the words of the legendary investor, Sir John Templeton, who so famously said, the four most dangerous words in the English language is it's different this time. My son, Ryan, and I have over 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. To get your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.